So we're here with Tim Hopkinson after the 3-1 win over Coventry United. Tim, good result for the team? Yeah, it's a great result. Um, coming off of the win away at Walsall Wood on Saturday, which was a big shift we put in. Uh, we asked a lot of the players uh, and then to turn around two days later on a Monday evening fixture uh, against a, a good organised Coventry team. Uh, it was really good to get six points in the space of three days. So yeah, really, really good day at the office. Yeah, obviously it was 3-0 at half-time. It could have been more, but also they had chances they hit the bar in the first half. Yeah, they hit the bar in the first half. Uh, we were well organised. Um, they, had, they had quite a bit of the ball, but so did we. Uh, we were organised well and hit them on the break um, and got the goals when we needed. So going in 3-0 at half-time, it can be a tricky uh, scoreline sometimes because you, you sit off uh, and naturally they're going to come at you. Um, so to be fair, in the second half, we, we played well, we were well organised uh, and thoroughly deserved the three points. Yeah, obviously, just mentioned there, the goals. You've got another goal. That's two in two at the new manor ground. Yeah. And obviously last season you had a bit of reputation of scoring from inside six yards. This season, the last two games, you've proved that maybe you can iron them in from range. Yeah, yeah it's something I've always had in the locker. Um, but, but last year I seemed to get a lot very close to goal, uh, which got me a bit of a reputation. But to be honest, I don't mind. A goal's a goal. Um, so whether you score from the halfway line or whether you score from a yard out, it all counts as one at the end of the season and it's a tally. So I'm, I'm happy to score wherever, really. Um, have you set yourself a tally this season for how many goals you want to get beat last season maybe? Um, well to be honest as a forward you always look to get at least 20-30 goals a year uh, it's got to be a target this last season um, but you want to get in a good rhythm uh, this year I've, I'm playing in a slightly deeper role which I really enjoy uh, I've played this position before um, it, it suits me because I can pick and choose when I get forward um, so I'll, I'll keep getting about in the box and, and try and read things and get on the end of things uh, so yeah uh, hopefully a few more goals will come just keep it flowing yeah, and looking ahead now, we've got a week's rest until we play South Normanton Athletic on Bank Holiday Monday. Looking forward to getting back into training. Yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be good for us to you know relax a bit, um, uh, uh, regroup and refresh. Um, we've got a few lads with a couple of injuries, a few niggles. Um, so on Thursday we'll look you know to to get training, um, iron out a few creases, um, you know to get better. We always want to get better uh, and, and look look forward to that big game against South Normanton on Monday. So uh, yeah, we should be good to go. We've played. A lot of games at the new Manor Ground so far this season. Mm -hmm. Do you reckon it's good to have the home games early or do you prefer the other way around, maybe as a title push, being at home a lot? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter where we play. Uh, every week we want to get three points, whether it's home or away. Uh, we can set out to play at home or we can set out to play away uh, different ways. Uh, but we can only focus on us, really. Uh, sometimes it will probably benefit us later in the season. Teams at home uh, will probably have to go for it. So it will suit us to count on them. So, I mean, you can't really look too far ahead at that uh, look in the you know the, the near future at the games that we've got coming up um, but we're, we're happy with how we're playing at the minute um, that, that defeat um, a couple of weeks ago uh, it, it, it sort of made us take it back to basics um, and we've sorted ourselves out defensively we look solid um, going forward um, and, and we're a unit working as a team so uh, everything's getting better yeah. obviously you've just mentioned there we've gone back to basics defensively what do you think you're doing differently now that you weren't doing in those first few games well, obviously, we've come off pre-season, there's been a lot of bodies, you know, a lot of numbers of players. Uh, it, it always takes a bit of time to gel. We've got a good core from last year, so we understand each other. But, um, you know, we, we've got ourselves organised now. We're familiar with each other. It always takes a few games. Um, and uh, the reaction to defeat, you know, is, is, is down to the lads. It's fantastic response uh, to have got three out of three after, you know, a bit of a disappointing defeat, which we were all uh, pretty embarrassed in their performance. Um, so we really wanted to put things right. And I think uh, if you'd have took, you know, taking three wins in a row after that, we took it any day. So we're, we're, we're pushing in the right direction. Yeah, one last question. Obviously, a lot of the fans have already left before you get back in that changing room and start blasting that sweet Caroline. Sounds like you're all loving it at the minute. And what's the harmony like in the dressing room? It's great. We're all, you know, we're all looking in the same direction. We all want to win. Um, you know, we've got five wins from six games. Uh, we just got to keep putting three points on the board. Um, ideally, we want to look down on the table instead of looking up. Uh, last year, we were chasing Walsall Wood all the way. Uh, but this year, you know, we're, we're competitive. We're all working hard. We just want to turn up every week and win as many games as we can and be there or thereabouts at the end of the season. Cheers, Tim, and good luck for the season. Thank Appreciate you. It, thanks.